If there's one thing we know about Vancouver Island, it's that it is full of interesting characters. And this next story has one of them, a man with a treat tucked away, just like he planned. CTV's Joe Perkins reports. At the top of these stairs, nestled almost perfectly between trees that hide it from the world, you'll find a home as fascinating and as hidden as the man who built it. Oh yeah, there's a mystique to him. Horace Basil Oldfield grew up in rural Saanich, a machinist by trade with a zest for the unusual. He was used to making things that he didn't have. Just look at the car he built. No one has a car like this except Basil. Some say he worked on the observatory when it was being built. Um, I don't have any proof of that, but uh, it was supposedly top secret at the time. If it was top secret, Basil didn't tell, but he did bring his work home. You see, the observatory isn't the only building in Saanich that spins. Slowly, a washing machine motor tucked away in the basement rotates Basil's home. So this is the transmission up here, which is driving this gear over here. Built with steel stud walls in the 70s. Uh, he liked metal. He worked with metal. That was his bag. That was his jam. Basil spent years working on the home, ensuring he would never wake up to the same view twice. He also made it nearly impossible for guests to find an entrance. You know, you never knew where to, where to find the front door. You had to kind of prod around and see it. I don't know what happened in the dark. A photo from Basil's plane shows what it would have been like. The rotating view before the massive trees. Today, it's much more secluded, just the way Francis likes it. It's a funky place. It's definitely funky. It's, uh, it kind of suits my lifestyle. Yeah. You like it, don't you? I like it, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's good, yeah. One full rotation takes one full hour, but that rarely happens anymore. A full turn sometimes makes the plumbing go haywire, but the upkeep, not much. Remember, Basil built this. Build it right once, and then you don't have to worry about it again, do you? As for those large protective trees, it's believed Basil planted those as well, almost like he knew he would one day have to protect what was on the inside. His home, as special and as private, as the man who built it. Joe Perkins, CTV News.